Hi, we're John and Angie. We love to eat, we love to travel, and oh, did I mention, we're dealing with infertility too. Come join us on our journey through this thing we call life. We well, only got one brain zill in that brain. <laughs> A single brain zill. I'm just kidding, he's all like a brain zill. So, we only got to do 0.5 today, I think. Yes. Today is 0.5, Citra Tide. This is our last box. Isn't that crazy? So, we are in the final stretch again. Mm -hmm. Again. So she tired tonight, today, this morning, and then Menopure and Gonal tonight. Tonight. Oh, these long, ovaries feel full. It's been a long road, huh? It's been a long road. It's been a long road without mm -hmm. you, my friend. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about caffeine. Oh, I know. It's been a long road without you, my friend. And uh, when I'll see you again. That's how I feel about caffeine. So, what are you going to do as far as caffeine goes with baby? I'm not drinking any caffeine at all until after baby. So and then cool. if I'm breastfeeding, I won't be drinking any caffeine until after that. Because you don't want to give baby to breastfeed. No. So, basically it's going to be a long time. Over a year. But believe me, that first sip of coffee, I'm going to be like... <laughs> Let's see where we should put it on the tippy. Let's check out what real estate we got. I think. Wee. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Um, let's see. Maybe right like there. right there? Yeah, do it like maybe right here. Yeah. The little area of the little tummy. You mean the big ass tummy? No. I got a large tummy. This to me has been cultivated over many years. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we gotta undo this one. Goodness gracious. I can't believe I'm gonna be put under in a couple days. A couple days. I'm so scared. Oh. I don't wanna die. You're not gonna die. John, the other night, read me a whole list of things that a person is more likely to die from than going under anesthesia, so that made me feel a little bit better. I'm still scared. That's the thing, people like, it's like a lot of things, they don't realize like the chances of dying by certain things, you know? Whew, so glad that needle is not the one that has to go inside me. This one? Whew. I feel like I want to put them on butt cheek. At first I looked at that and I'm like, wait, I'm like, that's the wrong <laughs> <laughs> I got scared. Oh, poor baby. Can't wait for our pergola, can't wait for our trip. Oh yeah, I can't wait. Can't it's wait for fun. just everything. Fun. This next couple weeks is gonna be busy, busy, busy. Mm -hmm. How you doing over there, Jimmy Bingy? They're just trying to get this stupid bubble out. Get the big old bubble out. Push it back up. We're gonna go right down here. And then take it. So we go right in. Let's do it like this. So let's make sure we got a little pinch of skin. Going in, little pinch. And you're doing great. Okay. I'm sorry, baby. It's not your fault. I think maybe it's because it's a longer needle. I think that's why it hurt. Like, remember how you were saying, like, oh, that one didn't hurt. Oh, that one hurt. Yeah. Oh, that one didn't hurt. I think the reason why is because it's a longer needle. I never realized it was a longer needle, but now that I look at it, I'm like, maybe that's why that one hurts. And we're good. In the sharps. In the sharps. Yeah, put in your sharps container. I'll grab a little band aid. A banage. A so that must be why. Current stomach situation. So that must be why it doesn't. Lots of breathing. Right there, huh? Thanks, Amy. Trust me. So this is my current stomach situation. I got like, besides the fat, of course, there's a lot of bruising and pin marks. I feel like a pin cushion. Yeah, a little pin cushion. Thanks, honey. Trust me. Love ya. Love ya. All right, tonight two shots, tomorrow one shot, and another monitoring ultrasound, and hopefully 
We get the okay. We might have to do two shots tomorrow if we have to do Opadrill. But that one's not bad. Yeah, that's okay. Tomorrow is ultrasound day. Yeah. Tomorrow could potentially be trigger day. Tomorrow is the day. Interesting day. Yes. Tomorrow we we'll get some good answers. Mm -hmm. it'll, be exciting. it'll be an exciting day. Yes. We have a lot going on tomorrow. We have somebody coming from our builder to come do some repairs. We have our new house cleaner coming, which we're very excited about. It's yes. very expensive, but... That's worth it worth it for right now especially because there's just a lot going on and I can't clean and John's got a lot on his plate and it just will make things easier yeah and then what else we got going on it's very windy today oh yeah knock on my vertical smoker I should do I should probably do a video about my your setup kitchen yeah I just want to finalize it before I do a video on it you know we should go to Ikea well okay. probably not this weekend maybe next weekend all right all right because this weekend I have to take it easy because I'll be recovering from retrieval. Hopefully I don't die. You're not going to die. Hopefully I don't die. You're not going to die. I really hope not. And I'm not ready to die. You're not going to die. I'm not ready to so die. Actually, first we'll do the... First we'll do the gonel. The gonel. So this is the gonel. We got our syringe. We got our gonel, which I pre-mixed the other day. Anyway, gone. Well, I think we'll still have a little bit left over. So I put a notification on the calendar of when we opened it. So in case we need to use it. Is it? Okay. Maybe. We're going to use BM is 150. 150 for Gonal and 75 for Minute. Mm -hmm. John just got finished working out. He didn't get to do his full workout though because he had to come help me. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna put it in the tummy. Poor baby. I probably should do a swab. I already had my ice cream for the day. You excited? Yeah, it was good. Keto Pints. Keto Pint is the name of the brand. Their ice cream. Um their bar. Sea salt caramel ice cream is like oh, so good. Really good. Bit. It's one of my favorites. Oh, more good news. We just got the reopening for Nevada. Yes, it is 100% capacity in June. I think it's June 1st, right? Mm -hmm. So that should be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Also, the vaccine that we took, Johnson & Johnson, just got like shut down. Like, they can't use it. For temporarily at least. Yeah, because of, uh, there were six blood clots and almost seven million people. So, what do we got here? We got two tonight. So, let's see. I'm in the tummy. Probably do one like around there. One in the tummy, right there. And then the other one. The other one, maybe right here. Down there, or below this one, huh? Yeah. Or we could go over there. Just wipe down the tomb. The whole tomb. We would need like like a gallon of no. for that. We need a gallon for the whole tomb. Okay, so 150. Gonal. Whoops. Good. So we're going to do the gonal. So we got one over there. Over here. I'll put it like right here. Right, right there, there. yeah. yeah. Put it right over here. I don't see any poops there, so you're gonna feel a little pinch. It's just gonna go right in, and then you're doing really good, baby. And then we're gonna go in, and then it's all done. Yay! We're gonna put a. That's your last gunnel for now. Last gunnel. That one wasn't bad as well. Good oh, job, honey buns. Good job, Trini Buns. Good job, Trini Buns. Now I get my band aid. First, you get a band aid. And then you get a kiss. Right here on the little tummy. And then. Kiss! So, yeah. And then we're having some friends come down and visit in July. We're excited about that. 
Shout out to Abby, Lee, Anthony, and Kevin. Mm -hmm. For coming out and visiting us for John's birthday. We're very excited. Yeah, we can't wait. We're going to go in like this. Can't wait. It's going to be a nice time. Uh, we're going to... I don't know. We'll see what we do. I mean, there's a lot to do in the city now that we're going to be fully reopened. How many eggs do we want to guess that I have tomorrow? I'm going to go like this first. How many do you guess we'll have? I think we're going to have 11. I think we're going to have 12. Oh, okay. Nice dozen would be nice, you know? Baker's dozen. Um, that's 13. Oh, yeah. That's my kind of dozen. <laughs> and then we pull it back to one, I think. Was. Yes. Yeah, that's right, because that's all that, that's like how much has to be. Okay, now we're going to do this. I'm going to go back downstairs after this. I'm going to do shoulders real quick. And, and then, then you'll do come back. And then I'll have to come back. It'll take me like 10 minutes. I just got to do some shoulders because I have been neglecting my shoulders. They look so cute, aren't they? Yeah, they look adorable. You always look cute, honey. How do you not look cute? Your hands are loose. Mm. Like that. Hey, girl. Alrighty, we're gonna have a deep dish pizza. If you haven't checked out Gold Belly yet, you should totally check out oh, Gold yeah. Belly because basically you can order food from around the United States, even the world, because they have stuff from like Paris and stuff like that too. Um, like, so your favorite. So let's say you like deep dish pizza from Chicago, but you can't go to Chicago. Well, you can get it flown in. Pretty cool, huh? Well, not flown in. It's actually shipped, but it's still really, really good. We've had gotten several things from there. We've gotten deep dish pizza. You want me to hold that way? Yeah, I can hold it because yeah. it's like, kind of hard not to like. Um, we've gotten mostly pizza from everywhere. I'm trying to think. Oh, that's just a little drop of water on the top. Still at one. Put it down. We've gotten pizza from everywhere. We've gotten pizza from. Detroit, we've gotten pizza from Chicago. We just love pizza. One bowl for me. One tiny bub. Just gonna do that. There we go. Alright. Let's see some right. right there. You really like. Or you think like right there. Right here between these two? Yeah. Can I go like that? Yeah. There's the bubble. And we're gonna go in real quick, just really, really fast. I'm gonna put it in. You're doing really good, honey. I'm very proud of you. You are so brave, you know that? Yeah. You are so brave and you're so tough. I'm so proud of you. Oh, yeah. I love you. You're so brave. I love you. That one didn't hurt either. Although, I feel like Menopure burns a little bit. Does it really? else like get like a little burning sensation from Menopure? Thank you. You're welcome, baby. You're being so brave. Thank you. So tomorrow, hopefully, we get our last two shots of Centratide. Uh -huh. I wonder if they're going to have me do Centratide in the morning. Let's see. Because supposedly that's supposed to stop ovulation, and then if they're triggering you, like, that's that causes an ovulation. So, I don't know how that works. Wonder. So, we'll see tomorrow what goes on with that. Yeah. But, hopefully, tomorrow are my last two shots until mm -hmm. transfer, and then I get the big shot. Big and shot. Booty. Oh, and the butt. I got a lot of booty, though, so hopefully it'll You're hurt right? less. I do got a lot of stomach, though, and that didn't seem to help <laughs> anything, so we'll see. Day 9 down. Tomorrow's day 10. One more to go. One more to go. Wish us luck tomorrow at our appointment. Yes. I love you, honey. Thank you. Of course. Taking John's car again today, heading to the RE. I'm going to hopefully get good news that we can trigger today and have retrieval on Friday. Hopefully we also have a couple more little follicles and everything is growing and doing what it's supposed to. So, we'll see. Keep you updated. Alrighty, just heading in now. <sighs> Hoping for good results. I'm a little scared. Me and this one here are becoming vegetables. Fingers crossed. Everything goes well today. Alright, just got out. Um, we have nine good eggs, which is... I don't know, it's a little... Um, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, we have nine good eggs for retrieval on Friday. We're triggering tonight. Um, he said everybody's different, but based on that, expect about three or four good ones, which is what I'm hoping for. I mean, that gives us a good amount without too many. 
um, and having to make some tough choices about that. But I don't know. It's just not a lot and it scares me. Um, so, yeah, we're looking at um, Friday for retrieval. And then next week, I think he said Wednesday or Thursday. I need to try to remember um, for transfer. John can be in there for transfer, but not retrieval. So, um, I'm going to head home now. I need to take my Citratide for the last day. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go home and we'll get started on that. Alright, last dose of Citratide. Tonight we do our... Tonight we do our... What do we do? Tonight we do our Ovidril, Ovidril, Ovidril yeah. at 9.30. Retrieval is 8.30 on Friday. Yeah. So... So we're trying to do this real quick. I'm going to call them back and see if I can get John to come in for retrieval. They said no, but I'm going to see if I can. If I provide a... Because we have the vaccine card. Mm-hmm. Because I got my Johnson & Johnson shot. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm stressing out. Can I stress it out for you? Because nine is like a small number. But... It's more than they wanted. Well, they wanted more than eight the first time I went. What do they want this time? By now, I think it should be a lot more. When I said, oh, is that a good response? He's like, well, you had a lot in the beginning, a lot of little ones in the beginning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they just didn't grow. I see. He's like, but I think, I think this is good. Okay. So it was like, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, that's a great response. You know, it was kind of like. But we didn't want a lot. We didn't want to have like 20. But it's still like... Because that's, that's another... You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just stressed out. There are some people who like retrieve 21 eggs and none of them are good. So you know, retrieve less, but they're good too then. True. I'm just trying to stay positive, but I'm nervous. You're doing great. I think you're doing great. I just hope that we get a few genetically tested normal embryos. Me too. So you believe in getting anesthesia for the first time on Friday? I'm scared. It's gonna be okay, honey. I didn't know it wanted to go away. You have a second one. Did you get out of there? Gender smart. That's why I'm the brains of the operation. I said, uh, all right, now right here. Two, so right there. That's right where I wiped. And in, right there. Right and in it goes. You're doing super good, honey. I'm so proud of you. A little bleed. Bleed, 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 bleed. Here, put a little baby on you. Put a little baby on you. Put a baby on you. Come and show me, baby. And again. Alright, one more shot tonight. And then after transfer, we have like a million more. But let's just <laughs> celebrate one thing at a celebrate time. Small victories. Yes. Begin in the picture. No, not begin. We need like a widescreen just so that we can get your big ass uh, in. That's for your head. Alright, last shot, at least for a couple days, because we just heard that progesterone and oil gets started before transfer, like right after retrieval, so I get like one full day, maybe two full days off, and then I think we're going to have to start again. Maybe they'll give us a new sharps container. I know, I need to talk to them. I might need to call the um, pharmacy. pharmacy for that one. So we're doing, today we're doing Avidro, which is this stuff right here. And uh, this is the also known as the trigger shot. We've so, done this one twice before, so this is our third one. This one's pretty simple. Yeah, pretty simple. It's just uh, all you gotta do is clean the area and then hook. It's already mixed, so that makes it pretty easy. So this one's a quick one. 
The thing about this one is that you have to do it right at the time they tell you to. Yeah, exactly. So the other ones, you want to do it around the same time. At least that's what I was told. But this one, it's like very specific. Do it at this time. So we actually had to stay up late. Normally yes. we're in bed by now. Um, it's almost 9.30. We have to do the shot at 9.30. Mm -hmm. So when you open your box, you'll get a pamphlet that looks like this. It's a subcutaneous shot, so that means that it's like in the underneath the skin, but it doesn't go into the muscle. So that's nice. It's you know the fat basically, I guess. I got a lot of that. And uh, this is your needle. It comes in a blister packet like that. And it's not very big, which is great because I don't like to give Angie long needles because I feel bad. Yeah. And I don't want to hurt her. Like it. Yeah. And <laughs> and so this is what the needle looks like. It's. Uh, a glass syringe which is like that so that's the stuff there now i'm gonna wipe her down first before i okay, give me a like. good wipe down so wipe you down i'm trying to think what do you think we could either do here mm -hmm. or maybe here we could either do one right in here or one like right there i'll right, do one right here so wipe down. Right, there you go. This is what my stomach currently looks like. All of those no. bruises pokes. and pokes. Maybe. Ooh, and that lighting though. Hey, hey. Yeah, it's a really nice lighting. Really nice light fixture, huh? So now I'm gonna take this off. That's what the needle looks like. She's so, not metal. Just like that, not very big, as you can see. It's not really too crazy. So, so let's check what time it is. Nine twenty-seven. I think that's good enough. Think so? I think so. So, um, they said that make sure you do it within fifteen minutes. So yeah, so within fifteen minutes of whatever you know. Um. This is the trigger shot, which triggers ovulation. So it's weird that they want me to trigger ovulation when they're just going to remove my eggs. But I guess maybe it's like helps. Helps like the process something. or the body gets yeah. the body ready or something like that. There's something about it that's important. Yeah, exactly. Because that's why they do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to listen to what they say and we're going to do it. I'm trying to buy a little time here. Yeah. And 28. <laughs> So this is an interesting one. I mean, we've done this a few times already. We use this when we were, when we were doing IUI. So, so the first, I've actually had this four times now. The first one was given by the nurse. The last two were given by John. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one was given by you. So this one's simple. We were very scared at first, but now it's nothing compared to all the injections. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you become, by the end of this, you become a pro. You know, so it's like... And I've become a pin cushion. I know, poor baby. Poor baby. Poor baby. Yeah. 929. Okay, I think we're good. I feel, I feel better about that. Okay, So, we're going to go right here in the tummy. So, we're going to go right here in a pinch. And we're going to go in. Just like this. We feel a little pinch as it goes in, and then we're gonna go like that. Here comes the medicine. So yeah, done and done. Left a little blood, which is great. Did very well. So now. Get a day off tomorrow. I do need to take my folic acid for tomorrow. I can't forget it. I'll remind you. Don't worry. And then, um, wait, wait, wait. Oh. I need another kiss. I need two kisses. <laughs> um, I do need to take my folic acid tomorrow, but that's yes. the only medication I need to take tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then retrieval is on Friday. Yeah, retrieval's on Friday, so. We have to be there at 8.30. John has to give a specimen. No, it can't be any... Um, we have to get it there within the hour. Yeah, within the hour. I can't eat or drink after 12, and I need to take two Tylenol, 
um, at 6 a.m. with mm -hmm. just a little tiny bit of water. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for the craziness and the excitement of retrieval. Mm -hmm. Please keep us in your prayers. Yeah. Lots and lots of prayers. All right. We'll see you on retrieval day. Yep. Love you. Love you.